Hello guys, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Today I will be showing you how to program a PIC microcontroller uh, with the PIC Kit 3. Um, since I saw a video uh, on YouTube to, uh, which, which in involved uh, programming PIC controllers, uh, it wasn't totally clear how to program these uh, microcontrollers, so I had to find out all myself, uh, all by myself. And it was, it was a real pain, probably because this is a Chinese fake one. Uh, I, I bought it from eBay because I, uh, I, I buy all my stuff from, from eBay. Um, but that it's, it's just, it's awful. It's, it's, it's fake copy which does not work okay. Uh, I, I already ordered the, the real one, uh, but since I do not have it yet, I will be showing you it, the process with this awful thing um, but it, it is possible with this so uh, I show you how um, I've got myself a PIC12 microcontroller here um, I'm going to program a uh, pre-compiled hex file uh, on it uh, and it can be done in a couple of ways uh, the first one and probably uh, if you do not have this I'll, I'll cover this within a minute uh, you can uh, create your own uh, socket for your PIC microcontroller. This is a PIC12 which has 8 pins and uh, you have to connect uh, only 5 pins to program it and it, it, uh, it has to be done in this exact sequence and if I take this here uh, you can see uh, if when you, 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 you um, count uh, the pin numbers uh, you always count on the top left and end at the top right and while uh, making some sort of kind of a U form it's the easiest to remember so this is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so um, and on the pick kit the first pin is with uh, on this little uh, white triangle here um, and it has to be done and so I made my pin 1 red so it's easy for me so to uh, put it in here I know oh, I don't I know how to put it in in eh, not not reverse um, so pin one the picket goes I have to take in account the notch the the little here um, pin one goes to pin four of the pick 12 pin two let's see let's follow the lead the wire pin two goes oh, I made a total mess of it and let's see goes to pin 1. Uh, pin 2 of the picket goes to pin 1 of the pick my controller. Pin 3, let's see, goes to pin 8. Pin 4 goes to pin 7. And the last, pin 5, goes to pin 6. And as you might have noticed, this uh, I only need 5 wires, but this connector has six pins. I did that so that I cannot uh, make a mistake in, in uh, uh, not not uh, in inserting it right. So I always have to use a uh, total of six pins having this left over there. Um, so that's how to connect it. Uh, this one is probably a little bit easier uh, or not. <laughs> As, uh, you'll find out uh, soon enough. Um, I'm not going to use this, it works, um, I'm going to use this one. And like I said, my PIC12 microcontroller has 8 pins, so let's see. And it says on the back of this Chinese eBay type of thing, it says when you cut a DIP8, and that this is called a DIP8 because it has 8 pins. And uh, dip 8, the jumper 1 has to be uh, set to the B position. Let's see, jump, the jumper 1 is over there. And it's currently in A position, so I have to change it. Now it's in the B position. Jumper 2 has to be in the 2 3 position. 2 3, that's correct. And jumper 3 has to be in the 2 3 position also. And that's over there, that's also correct. Alright, so it's 
Now it's prepared for my DIP8 PIC12 microcontroller and now comes the hardest part because this is for DIP8 ICs. You have to follow this, this white line over here and there it is and now let's see if I can show you. There is this notch which, um, which is also on the controller. So now I've got it in the right position. So let's see, I'll turn it around and following that white line it should be in this position. This should be correct. And when I cut it like so, I clamp this. You can see all 8 pins are clamped. Now I'm going to put it in the packet. I made this wire. It is not entirely uh, necessary because you can also shove it right in here and that would be good too, but I like some flexi flexibility. Uh, and of course, when it lies like this, I've got it the wrong way around because I made pin, uh, uh, wire 1 red. I twist it a little bit. Also worth noting is that this connector is 5 pins. Um, I did not have the 5 pin Dupont uh, sleeves in, uh, in stock. So I made a 5 pin Dupont uh, uh, connector by using some methyl ethyl ketone. I uh, don't know if it, I pronounce it right in English, but it's also butanone. But, it's not butane, but it's... it's uh, um, the same stuff they use in nail removers or uh, uh, model um, railroad kit glue uh, type of stuff. It's, it's an awful smell. But since this, th those connectors are made of ABS plastics, they will uh, uh, melt together when using this stuff. So this is, I just put a tiny amount of uh, uh, this, this butane, but butanone on it and it melted them together. It's a real, real strong connection. So I made my own 5 pin Dupont connector. I'm going to put this in here. Right. Um, I'm going to switch to uh, my PC. This is my mouse with my nice little bug in it. Um, and start some screen recording first time I do it. So I hope it uh, works out well. And uh, let's see. I'm going to press the rec button. Yes, it's showing, it gives me all kinds of messages, but that's okay. And let's see. So here we are. Um, I'm going to start this MP Lab IPE integrated programming environment, which I got pre-installed on my PC. And there it is. Let's see. I got this my Pic 12 microcontroller selected here. I, um, you can select your PIC microcontroller first by selecting the family. If you got the same as me, the PIC 12 uh, is a mid-range 8-bit MCU. And then you can select this, uh, it from here, from this drop-down. And um, uh, next one is your PIC microcontroller, your PIC kit uh, itself. Um, when it's not connected to your PC or you do not have the driver installed, uh, this will be left blank. But in my case, it is connected. So I will try to connect to it right now and that will not succeed and you see in a moment. First it, it's got this uh, warning. It says when you're, when you're providing 5 volts to a device on a 3.3 volt uh, microcontroller it will result in damage. And in, in my case I got this PIC12 microcontroller which supports 5 volts just did, so this will be fine. <coughs> but you will notice that it cannot connect yet. There it is, and that is because uh, I, can, I do not have my PIC microcontroller uh, provided with 5 volt at this moment. So we have to go to the power tab, that's over here, and select 5 volt, that's correct, and then select power target circuit from tool. So I will be providing the microcontroller with 5 volt from the PIC kit. There we go. Uh, disconnect and try to connect it again. But now you will see some real Chinese junk in action because this will probably result in another error message. Let's see. First we will get the same message as before. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. 
the picket is trying to supply 5 volts from the USB port, but the target voltage is measured to be 4.75 volts. Yeah, and that is because this is a piece of Chinese junk and uh, it is not the real picket. Um, so, uh, in my case, uh, I got a bit lucky. I can just change the voltage over here to 4.75, but that because the, the, the big microcontroller uh, accepts that very well. 4.75 is, is, is more than enough. And I can try to connect it again and it will actually work. But uh, there are cases when that that does and that doesn't even work, and you cut the message for, that the picket is trying to supply 4.75 volts, uh, but it meshes 4.5, and so on. It will uh, degrade a little bit over time, um, but it, it is just junk. Uh, I got lucky that because this did this works, and I. Uh, show you later on how to uh, avoid this message if you're, you're, you're stuck with it but um, now for now since I got this connected and it's detected the microcontroller uh, fine uh, I can actually start to program it so that, let's see um, there it is I, I press the browse button and here is the hex file and as you might have noticed this is the icicle hex file uh, which is made by Big Life. Uh, it's a very nice project. I will do that later on. But for now, I will open this hex file, load it successfully, and now I'm going to press the program button. Same message will pop up again, probably. No, it does not. <laughs> uh, it is uh, programmed fine, programming complete. And that's how to program a big microcontroller. Um, in the case you cut the error message, like well, like I said before, you cut uh, 4.75 volts and uh, it says it detected 4.5 and then you set it to 4.5 and it says it detected 4.25 and so on. Um, you are the unlucky one and you should uh, um, um, cut open your USB cable. Uh, Take the two uh, power leads from it, the, the plus and the minus, which are, will probably be red and black. But <coughs> if you, your, even your cable is Chinese, that might not be the case. And you should always test to see if, you, if those are the correct uh, uh, cables for the power. Um, and when you take these uh, two out, um, th those, those two leads, uh, you cannot just take them out and, and supply it to the, to the big microcontroller, but you... Um, uh, have to uh, connect other wires to it from this cable uh, to these pins here to the VCC and ground cable to do actually um, pin 2 and 3 in this case um, and connect it to, to this cable and in that case when you do it like that um, the microcontroller and both the picket are provided with the 5 volts from the PC or laptop or anything and uh, um, so and it will it will work and you can uh, then uh, go back to the to the power tab of the uh, um, integrated program environment and you must unselect this, this checkbox power target circuit from tool because uh, it you will you have provided the controller and both the picket from the cable now that's very important and that's probably all there is to it. Well, did I forget something? No, I think not. I think that's about it. Well, uh, next thing I will be doing is building Big Life's uh, Meteor Light, the, the icicle version. Uh, I like it very much. It's a real nice project to do. Uh, and that's uh, probably going to be my next video. Until then. <laughs>